Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarice here with That Dumb Movie Show and today I wanted to talk about Andy Serkis' directorial debut which did premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. I'm talking about so the movie, not the Blue Cantrell song. I'm sorry. It's a pretty traditional biopic. Andrew Garfield stars as Robin Cavendish, who was actually uh, an incredibly fascinating person in history. He contracted polio when he was 28 and was paralyzed from the neck down and so needed a mechanical respirator and he fought incredibly hard for the rights of disabled people, especially in terms of their independence and he had to develop a new kind of wheelchair that actually had the mechanical respirator built into it so that he and you know others in a similar situation to him wouldn't be bed bound their entire lives. It's an interesting story but this, it's, this is just one of those films that you watch and you're like oh well I guess Oscar season has started and you know I like everyone involved a lot. I really like Andrew Garfield and I like Andy Serkis but this film just felt a little bit like a mess to me. As an able bodied person, I would never want to presume what the reaction to this film would be from a disabled person, but just from my own perspective, this film did seem pretty patronizing. And I felt like that was mainly due to the fact this movie embodies the worst excesses of that very British, like, stiff upper lip stereotype. And it was as if this movie just wanted to be like, oh, well, look at this man! He was paralyzed, and yet he's still so chipper about it! What an inspiration! And you know, the real Robin Cavendish contributed so much to the disabled community and how the disabled community is viewed by the outside world, but this movie acts like his greatest legacy was just that he had such a good sense of humor about it all. It was just this recurring idea that he would keep playing down his symptoms so he would appear like you know, less of a burden to the people around him so he'd just call all of it a bit of a bugger and like no, no. Like you should be allowed to be as happy or as miserable as your body makes you feel and I don't, I don't know, that really winds me up, that sort of overemphasis on stoicism, like the stiff upper lip thing. Which, you know, I do realise is potentially a really harsh criticism, considering that Robin Cavendish's actual son was involved in the production, and maybe that's just, you know, how he remembered his dad, you know, that's how he wanted to portray him, but at the same time, you know, on a wider scale, I think it is kind of a problem that you've got this movie made by, you know, an able-bodied director with an able-bodied actor in the lead playing a disabled person. So it doesn't feel like this is a disabled person talking about their own experiences. It feels like this is able-bodied people telling disabled people how they should live their lives. I think this is a problem with a lot of these kinds of prestige films. You know, you take the real experiences away from people and you make this nice movie that's makes you cry a little bit and then you feel very inspired at the end and you know it does feel to a degree kind of exploitative. And honestly I don't know if the film has that much else to offer. Uh, Claire Foy who's from The Crown if you've been watching that plays his wife and is very much a thankless wife role where she just goes oh darling everything will be fine I love you. And then Andrew Garfield, who is usually a really great actor, but here he's wearing these giant fake front teeth to make himself seem posher. And I just, that's all I saw. It was just giant fake teeth for 120 minutes. So yeah, I was not a fan of Breathe. I don't know what this says about Andy Serkis' version of The Jungle Book that he's doing. Uh, probably nothing. But, you know, we're gonna get so many prestige picks from this point on that I think you're probably safe skipping this one. But if you've had a chance to see Breathe, I would love to know what you guys thought. You can let me know down in the comments below or you can hit me up on Twitter. Details down in that description box. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!